Welcome to the overview on shock. In this video, we'll discuss what shock is and the types of shock there are. Shock is defined as a condition in which peripheral tissues and end organs do not receive adequate oxygen and nutrients. While it's sometimes used interchangeably with severe hypotension, shock does not only occur in the setting of severely low blood pressure. Importantly, the body will attempt to compensate for shock through various mechanisms, most commonly through increased heart rate. The heart rate will increase in an attempt to increase cardiac output, that is, stroke volume times heart rate. Blood flow will be shunted from less vital organs, such as the skin, to more vital organs, such as the kidneys and the brain. In these cases, the child or the infant may be experiencing shock, but have high, normal, or low normal blood pressure. This is called compensatory shock and may only persist for minutes to hours before progressing to frank, uncompensated shock unless treatment is initiated. Without treatment, these compensatory systems can become overwhelmed and result in the child progressing quickly to critical hypotension and cardiac arrest. The four types of shocks are hypovolemic, distributive, cardiogenic, and obstructive. Hypovolemic shock occurs when there is a low blood volume, often due to hemorrhage or fluid shifting out of the vasculature. Distributive shock occurs when the heart is not pumping adequately. Cardiogenic shock occurs when blood vessels are dilated, like in septic shock. Obstructive shock occurs when there is a physical blockage of the blood flow. This concludes our overview on shock. Next, we'll review hypovolemic shock.